Big BSF Griselda. The butcher coming. Ah. Brother Tom Sos. Ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Pushing rovers like wheelchairs, that's my miracle whip. Hold up, I thank God that I'm a miracle, yeah. My girl look like Jordan Spock, so ain't no air in this. B we dying laughing to the bank on some hysterical. Don't really Good evening, Fredonia. You're listening to The Local Lowdown on WCVF 88.9 The Voice and WDVL 89.5 The Inferno. I'm your co-host, executive... I did not introduce myself. I'm your co-host, Amel, uh, executive producer and promotions lead. Absolutely running through that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> no, you're totally fine. Leave that in. Hi, I'm Jordan. I'm another co-host here, and I'm also the A&R lead. And I'm Alex, the technical director. The waveforms are good this time. Hopefully the video is good this time. Man, oh, man. <laughs> we, just, we just started, and then we had to restart. Yeah. So we lost some Take two for fish. us. Take one for you guys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. yeah. So tonight's show is brought to you by Fredonia Radio Systems in a group effort to promote and showcase the local music scene here in Fredonia, but also Western New York at large. Welcome to The Local Lowdown. Alrighty, on this episode, we have our guest for the week, Brother Tom Sos. Hey, what's going hey, on? Hey, what's up? up? How's it going? It's going great. <laughs> for the second time, like <laughs> I've never time. seen you. It's amazing, you know. <laughs> nah, it's really, I'm really honored to be here still. You yeah, know? of course. So, really um, so why don't we do a little introductions for you guys? Well, once again. One more time for us. <laughs> First time for you guys. <laughs> to my right, we got V. To his right, we got Meezy. Uh, these are my brothers. We 228 Collective. Uh, you'll hear more about that in the near future. But we're going to keep the main thing the main thing. All righty. Um, so let's jump into the questions. I'm not going to really focus on what it was before, but this is brand new take. Um, so first question. Mm -hmm. um, so in an interview with Hip Hop Weekly, uh, you mentioned that your mom encouraged you to pursue music. Um, how has music been a part of your life? And I just want you to, more, to speak more about that. Go ahead. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So basically growing up has been... Um, an interesting journey musically. Okay. Um, but as far as hip hop is mm -hmm. concerned, my mom said early three mm -hmm. years old I was rapping. Right. Um, I think what was it? I literally just forgot. Uh, I throw <laughs> I throw chicken. Right? Yeah, I throw chicken in the street so okay. the birds can eat. Um, I said it on a song. Uh, supposed to on the um Motus Vivendi LP. Right. Uh, my mom said I was a rap. I said when I was three years old. So I don't remember it at all. Mm -hmm. But I trust my mom. Listen, if your mom so, said it, yeah. you can put on your website's credible information. Yeah, there so you go. I, I just go with it. Um, well, I, I'm not sure what the next question was, but I'm pretty sure um, Jordan uh, allowed you to speak a bit more on, I guess, if we're talking about like true beginnings and where it started from. Mm -hmm. um, it, you can get as personal as you want. Um, it's really up to you. Uh, but did you did mention that like your brother does play or your brother did play a, a big role in in a lot of music that you do? So mm -hmm. um, now, uh, you was right. The first thing he still does, uh, he right. plays a huge role. Um, it's crazy. Just fun. Like just a little nugget. It's a rapper named KRS One. Mm -hmm. um, he said he believes that like when somebody really really close to you passes away, he said he believes that it's because like the universe knew you needed guidance on the other side. Mm -hmm. Right. So I just kind of like keep that in my back pocket and just right. keep going. But um. You know, musically, like I said, it's been an interesting journey. I did start off just as a musician, like outside of spinning bars at three years old, according to my mom. <laughs> but I started off, you know, typical, you know, church musician, drums, piano, tink tinking, and then I picked up bass guitar, fell in love with bass guitar. Oh, wow. um, that opened a lot of doors for me. Um, mm -hmm. I didn't say this the first time around, but playing bass, it allowed me at a younger age probably like early teens to travel to different cities and stuff like right. through different conventions and conferences and stuff like that mm -hmm. so it um it got me acclimated to being on the road and seeing artists in a different light even though it was like a different genre but right. pretty much the same concept honestly mm -hmm. just as far as professionalism mm -hmm. and you know breaking the nerves being on stage networking communicating yeah um i moved to new york city <clears throat> to work with this ministry uh the beginning of 2019 i was a music director out there playing bass mm -hmm. Long story short, it was beautiful. Everything was perfect. Mm -hmm. I got the call that my brother passed away. Right. Um, one thing that a lot of people do know now if they listen to my music or if they ever heard a podcast is like my brother was like my biggest supporter. Mm -hmm. Like it would be times where we'd be in the house and I'd be chilling in my room. And it'd be crazy because it'd be the moments like, you know, having those discouraging moments. It's like, man, I'm 
all my friends are getting ready to graduate college. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I'm playing instruments and stuff, but I don't really get a lot of money. I'm not really doing right. much. What am I going to do? Is music it? Mm -hmm. You know, I did college a little bit, didn't really finish it, but that's another story. And then out of nowhere, I'll just hear my unreleased music playing from the room upstairs. And it's my brother up there just, you know, chilling with his homies, mm -hmm. listening to my music. Wow. Right. Yeah. And I, was, I wasn't an artist. You know, I, was right. just, I would make music. I would go through these seasons where I would be like, no, nah, I'm about to rap. No, I'm serious this time. <laughs> and everybody be like, boy, you crying wolf. Be quiet. And I'm like, no, nah, man, I'm dead serious. I'll go yeah. to the studio, record three songs, put them on SoundCloud and delete them. Wow. And like, I would do this for years wow. at a time. I would change my name. I changed my name so many times. Yeah. So no, like seriously. Can we like, get some of those old names? names? Uh, True Swain, Os <laughs> Atkins, uh, Oso, Tom Summage. Um, what you say? Tommy yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was like it was like Tommy too, but I spelt it. It was just it was just really weird. Like I did a lot of weird stuff. Yeah. But. So how did you come up with the one that you have now? And has it stuck? Do you still think of changing it? Uh, nah. This is it. Um, All right. This is it. And. So long story short, like my brothers, they would um, refer to each other as the Sosas. Like mm. everybody was a Sosa. Like whatever your name is, your name could be Doug. You Doug Sosa now. <laughs> and it was just kind of funny because we was growing up and they would be like, my brother, his friends, they'd be like, what up Sosa? I'd be like, don't call me that. <laughs> it's not my name. Like I'm yeah. not, I'm not one of y'all. My name is not Sosa. <laughs> and then, you know, for real, like I really get tight. Like that's not my name. But, um, and then also growing in the church, you know, like any most reformations, you refer to the members as brother or sister, like right. if right. they don't have a prestigious title, quote unquote. Right. So I just kind of merged the two, um, brother, and then as actually being the big brother to this whole movement, you know, and losing my little brother, I realized it was a bigger role that there's millions of kids like him that need guidance. They need a big brother. So I kind of merged right. that with the, you know, the quote unquote religious side of yeah. my life. Took the right. brother from that and then put the sauce because it's like I was like, I wish, you know, I could walk in the house and hear what up sauce. You yeah. know. But so I just use that to kind of just keep that part alive. But and it worked. Well, yeah. And just it, even it going going like I've learned on this journey, like more and more stuff just makes it make sense. We'll get into it uh <laughs> in the conversation, I feel like. But yeah. It is beautiful. Yeah. Mm. Well, thank you so much for sharing that yeah. story. Yeah, um no it means a lot that you just be so real about it. And I feel that it inspires people in a lot of ways and yeah it's part of who you are as an artist so right. i'm glad that really inspired you're able to talk about it yeah. um did that did that influence the the name of the big brother ep I'm absolutely guessing? yeah mm. yeah absolutely a hundred percent because the four ant was the first project right and a lot of people even if you go listen to my discography mm -hmm. four ant is the only project that sounds like it doesn't belong yeah i noticed <laughs> that too like so, there's a difference yeah, yeah. a big difference and yeah. that was just because it was like it was spontaneous like it was just mm -hmm. like nah this is what i'm doing you yeah. know i just grab beats from everywhere i had some homies send me beats i had mm -hmm. beats that i produced and i was like now nah, we're gonna do this i just did it and then big brother that's when you start getting the skits and, mm -hmm. you know, I, it was more structured. Like, I was like, nah, this is what I want to do. And I tell people all the time, fun fact, there is not one curse word on Big Brother. Yeah. Because I wanted to show that there is there is the need for artists to be examples for yeah. a younger generation. Yeah. It's like right. people wonder why, you know, suicide rates are so high and why everyone's depressed and why everyone's addicted to drugs. Because we have a whole generation of artists Pop the pills, drink to this, smoke mm -hmm. to that. Da, da, da. And it's just like, no, th it becomes normal, you know? It becomes super normal and natural, you know? And it's just like, with Big Brother, I understand the reality of some lives, but mm -hmm. it's just like, at the same time, it's like, you gotta, I can't tell my brothers what to do and what not to do. But if you're gonna do X, Y, and Z, do it with right. some knowledge, you yeah. know, do it with wisdom, do yeah. it, you know, so you can be more Pablo Escobar <laughs> and less PD that just, Gonna do twenty five to life because he wasn't thinking. Yeah. You know, it's just like whatever you gonna do, you gotta do it smart. And I took the um the chance and the platform of music to use Big Brother to utilize that to just kind of speak on a more, as they were saying, conscious type of way. Mm -hmm. But it worked. It worked a lot. And the motives of Indy kind of it, it kind of <laughs> toppled Big Brother a little bit. Yeah. Um, so I want to talk about a little bit about your beginnings in the Buffalo underground scene. Mm -hmm. You know, you went out to New York, then you made your return to Buffalo. How did you get started within the scene? Um, 
was there any like venues you want to shout out or particular artists that maybe helped you out in that way? Uh, so as far as venue, the first show I, I did when I came back to Buffalo, it was actually for a benefit concert for my brother's passing. Right. Um, shout out to Allison Pipitone. Um, Huge shout out. The family over at Silo City. So it was kind of cool though. Like even still, like when I think about it, it makes me smile because that was like my first time being on a flyer, like outside of anything religious. Right. Um, you know, I had my own set. I think uh, Allison and her band had a uh, had a set. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chucky Campbell had a set, mm-hmm. and then it was me, and it was just kind of cool. You know, I put a little band together. We did some some of my favorite songs, um, and it was it was really a vibe. But after that, um, I think after when I dropped Four Ant. It was kind of like a little buzz mm-hmm. amongst like friends and family, but when I dropped Big Brother, Buffalo Kids was just like, pew, like yeah. it just it did something different. It's super remarkable, right. especially yeah. with what you're talking about with like having a positive message and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like one thing that's great to have a positive message, but also makes it just accessible to a wide range right. of people, and right. you know you can play that for your kids, and it's. You right. can sing along to that chorus as like a six year old. No, that's and, a fact. Yeah. yeah, that's a fact. I think after I dropped uh, Big Brother, I think the first people that really gave me a chance um, as an artist to perform will probably be the uh, Music Is Arts Festival. They mm-hmm. did mm-hmm. they did it virtually in 2020 due to the pandemic, and yeah. they, they asked me to perform, and that was like that was my first real that was my first real performance mm. as Brother Tom Sos, like doing my music mm-hmm. and. It was dope. It was it was awkward. It was awkward. <laughs> like my first time in a warehouse and nobody's here, but it was right. it was really cool. It was really oh, cool. Wow. Yeah. Um, did you wanna Yeah, I have a little bit more. Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're wearing the Armani Caesar yeah. hoodie. Oh. We definitely gotta get right oh, into <laughs> talking about Griselda Records. Um you can't talk about Buffalo rap and not can't. mention their name. That is true. Um they've just taken the hip hop industry by storm with the gritty, dark boom bap mm-hmm. sounds. I mean, they've expanded beyond that too. Mm-hmm. Definitely with doing Benny just dropped with Hit Boy last year, right. I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so all sorts of stuff going on with them. What do you think it means to the Buffalo rap scene? What does it mean to the rap scene at large? Mm-hmm. Um, they're undeniably an international act at this point. Mm-hmm. Right. I think for uh, for hip hop at large, I would say that it's kind of like a, a flame under you to know like the underdogs are really working, you know, mm-hmm. no major cosigns. I mean, outside of once they got signed, but you know, for going years just grinding and to get where they are, it just shows that hard work, dedication, consistency yeah. is it makes anything possible. Um, as far as Buffalo as a city, again, it makes it shows that anything is possible, uh-huh. literally. And it was just like I feel like it was, it was light shed on the city to show people that. Just do it. Just do it. Like, no matter how hard it is. Because I, I sit there sometimes, like, even to this day, like, I watch some of their early, you know, documentaries and vlogs and stuff on YouTube. And, like, right. these dudes were getting to it. Yeah. And people were counting them out, you know, because yeah. this is the, you got to, this is the era where you got Lil Pump, and Smoke Perp, and all of these young artists mm-hmm. thriving. And then you got these dudes 30, 30 years old and, right. and up. Yeah doing boom bap at that yeah like it wasn't like they were doing the mumble rap stuff like nah they they're you know they stuck to what they grew up on and it worked and i just feel like for buffalo and their music if you if you are really a buffalonian and like it's no shade to like anyone that lives in like the outskirts of buffalo but if you are really from buffalo listening to their music it feels like home Mm -hmm. to hear the references of scotty's and Mm -hmm. gg's and you know, just to hear them talk Amherst about different places, the right. Amherst station, yeah. like it's different. Pla- when you from certain areas, to hear Conway talk about May Street and Dote Street, we we came up off of Dote, mm-hmm. probably like a twenty minute walk from May Dope Street. Street but, story, yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. So it was like to hear these guys on a platform where they're being acknowledged by Jay Z's and Eminem's, and mm-hmm. you know they got records with Big Sean and Lil Wayne and all of the people that we listen to on a day to day basis. To right. hear these names even come up in these conversations, you're just like, oh no, I'm next. <laughs> if it happened for them, it's happening for me. Yeah, you know, and I feel like a lot of people in Buffalo feel that way right now. So, and like I tell people all the time, the same thing that happened for Atlanta, I feel like I just feel like I feel I just feel the break in the conversation <laughs> where it's like kind of transitioning from not. Um, you know, focusing on the first take that was so beautiful. I just want you guys to know. That. Um, 
might, we might we might insert some audio so. clip. Yeah. <laughs> there was some stuff that was, yeah. I don't know if we could replicate. We can't. But um, like for Atlanta, you know, in the early '90s, I think it was um, Outcast. You know, mm-hmm. they won that Source Awards at the height of the East Coast West Coast beef. Outcast won, and then from there it was like the South was just going crazy. Atlanta was going crazy, specifically Atlanta as one city. You know, you got the West Coast like Compton, crazy from NWA to Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's just like different cities have had their chance. New York City is obviously hip hop was born there. You have artists upon artists upon artists from each borough, you mm-hmm. know, and then there's Buffalo. Yeah. Outside of Griselda, who does Buffalo have on the mainstream? You yeah. know, and I was it's crazy. I was just talking to one of my homies earlier today. When it comes to musicianship, Buffalo has many musicians mm-hmm. that are doing better than the artists. From Buffalo. Right. Like, mm-hmm. Beyonce's drummer is from Buffalo. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't know that. Right. You know, there are musicians here that from Buffalo that play for artists like Fantasia, mm-hmm. that play for a lot of world-renowned artists. You know, and it's just crazy to think that, you know, as a musician, you your hope is to be able to land a gig to play for a major artist. But now, since Griselda, the hope has become to be the major artist. Yeah. Right. It's just put the city on the map. Yeah, literally. And I just feel like it's so much to come from Buffalo that they, Buffalo has barely scratched the surface. On the I mean, yeah. fun fact, I was reading um, a paper in one of my classes, which I forgot what classes is, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, it was just uh, speaking on like a music industry term, how cities have been affected um, and how they continue to arise in terms of popularity. And uh, funny enough, like Miami, uh Austin was Austin, Texas. Um, New York City were actually not on top ten, and Buffalo. And mind you, this is it, in in the entirety of the U.S. Buffalo wow. was nine out wow. of top ten, which is growing right now. So that That's kind of crazy. speaks upon yeah. what's happening. So you gotta send me that article, please. Gotta, yeah, gotta, one of my <laughs> teachers. Yeah, he he printed it out, and he was like, "All right, we have to speak more on like." Uh, it's just a classroom which we read uh, current articles about the music industry and everyone was there in shock. We're like, Buffalo is number nine in the U.S. Wow. Yeah. That's insane. Speaks volumes. Cities. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I, well, well, we looked through your discography and mm-hmm. um, again, correct me if I'm wrong, but you already correct. I kind of know how to say it now. Um, <laughs> Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. Ah, yes, I got it right. Okay. Um, is used in many of your EPs and mm-hmm. actually four of them. What's the significance in that and... So I have kind of like a, I don't want to use that word. That's not, if you can guess what word I was going to say, I'll give you $10. It starts with an F. Um, but I have this kind of, um, this, this love for, you know, languages such as like Arabic, Aramaic. I want to learn how to speak them fluently. Yeah. Um, inshallah just means Lord willing or God willing mm-hmm. in Arabic. And it just, it was kind of like just a staple for the whole movement um, to the fact that like, you know, all the work and effort that I'm putting in, like I just pray that this stuff really works to the point where I even went and got inshallah tatted on my face. So, oh yeah, yeah. I did not know that, but there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to it's, recreate the same. It's crazy. Joke I, I told my mom like, yeah, I got inshallah tatted on my face. She was like, really? Let me see. I sent her a picture. She was like, now you got to get one on the other side to balance it out. And I was just like, okay. I wasn't expecting that response. Are you, are you thinking about it? <laughs> yeah, I want to get like a rose or something right here. With the same, nice. like, red ink? Yeah. That'd be really, really I was cool. thinking about actually getting the, like, the thorn and green and then the actual rose and oh, red. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, let's not speak on tattoos. I've been thinking about it for a while, and I know that as soon as I start, it. it is it is a Do downhill it. from there. Do but it. The you. body's a canvas <laughs> painted. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I'd, like to, I'd like to pass the mic off to Nolan in there. Yeah, so... We all saw that you got that Benny feature, and I think we're wondering how did that come about. Yes, we live. Yeah, we live. yeah, go for <laughs> it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, long story short, Benny, um, he came to the town, um, and he just kind of like put out there. He was doing features, and he was like, you know, if you guys anybody want to feature, tap in. Mm-hmm. And you know, my dad is like kind of loopy, and he made it happen. Um, so it was pretty cool. It was like at that point I had just um, started like making my own beats, and so I was like, you know what? Let's let's just let's just see what happens. And we went to the studio, and it was it was kind of it was kind of crazy because I get to the studio. This was right after he got shot, you know. So okay. we pull up to the studio. Uh, he's there. 
Um, he's in the car in the parking lot. We in the parking lot, and you can kind of tell like he was like still a little on edge. Like when we pulled up, everybody in his car was kind of like, "Oh, like, who is this?" You know, right. and it was just like, yeah, it was a little tense at first. So uh-huh. we get in the studio. It's just me, my pops, um, Benny, and his a couple members of his team or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I turned the beat on. You know, shout out Elijah at GCR. We turned the track on, and instantly everybody in the room is just like, and I'm like. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, it's a good like, feeling. Nah, it was a beautiful feeling because I, at that point, I was only producing for like a couple weeks, yeah. literally. Wow, like I've wow. been a musician that my whole insane. life, but I produce like as far as production, I really wasn't. I've always like played around on like my homies' equipment and stuff, but yeah. I never had my own stuff. So I literally had just got my own equipment of 2020. Um, December of 2020. Mm-hmm. So it was just like, you know, it was kind of cool. Like I'm I've been doing this for less than 2 years and I already got two songs with Benny. It was just kind of it was kind of dope, but he he liked the beat and you know, he it's, being in there with him, it was just kind of crazy. It it took me to a whole nother level as an artist. He didn't write a word. He didn't write a word. He went and sat in the corner. They put the beat on loop. He sat in the corner like this. It's Jay Z style, dude. For like for like forty five <laughs> minutes, and everyone's yeah. just like, and I'm just sitting there in amazement. They're like, "All right," he's like, "Let's go." The room got quiet. He recorded in like one take. Oh wow! Yeah, and it was just like that's what it was. I love how he says like "Brother Tom so at yeah. the beginning too, and yeah. that's like the first time he's meeting you, right? Yeah. Wow. Now that was actually, I think that was on another way. So, oh okay. Yeah, gotcha. so that was on another. That was the second song we did, but even that was crazy. The story behind that is it's wow, because we in my mind we were only supposed to do one song. Mm-hmm. We were only supposed to do Tell It All, which is on Inshallah, the first Love Inshallah. That. Appreciate yeah. it. And then a couple of weeks went by, and he was still in Buffalo, like doing features and stuff. And it's like two, three in the morning. I'm knocked out. I wake up to like 40 missed calls from my dad. He's like, yo, I'm scared because I'm like, <laughs> I don't like getting calls like that. You feel yeah. me? So he's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you know, he calls me. I, he's like, yo, they said, check your Instagram right now. I check my Instagram, it's City Boy. He's like, yo, send Benny a beat. We in the studio. I'm like, Okay, like <laughs> yeah, that easy. is insane. Yeah, I sent him the beat for Tell It All. He sent it right back, and when I heard it, um, to hear my to hear him say my name, I was just like, oh man, <laughs> I'm milking this for the rest of my career. I don't care because Benny's arguably one top five greatest MCs currently. Yeah, yeah. you know, so for to sure. have two songs with him is, is is most definitely a blessing. Do you feel like you have somewhat of a working relationship with him now, or <sighs> no, no, <laughs> nah. I'm um, reaching. Nah, and it's like you know, respectfully. I feel like where they are, I understand that the grind is the grind, yeah. you know, and it's just like, I feel like they're really not in the position to be trying to make new friends mm-hmm. that are not where they're trying to go. Like, it wouldn't make sense for them to be trying to make connections with people, you know, Like it's a good relationship. I wouldn't even call it a working relationship. And I really wouldn't even say me and Benny have a good relationship, quote unquote. Yeah. Right. When we see each other, you know, it's like if I say what's up, you know, it's respect or like yeah. we run into, he come to Buffalo, I go support. You know, he see me, he recognizes me. It's love. Yeah. Right. You know, I got relationships with some of his artists, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like that I can say like we good, we cool. You know, same thing mm-hmm. with some of the people affiliated with like the whole Griselda movement, you know, some of the drum work artists, like it's love. But I would never sit there and milk it to the point to actually say it's a relationship. Yeah, right. That's, you gotta you know, keep it real. That's fair. Yeah, that's you know, fair. It's it's gonna get there. It's most definitely gonna get there. Of course. You I know, mean, he, but, if he keeps coming back to you, he's gonna. Yeah. He'll have no choice. Nah, he, 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 even if he don't, they gonna know. They gonna see me. <laughs> as, you sure. feel me? Yeah. They gonna see me. Yeah. For sure. For sure. I got a, a follow up to that in What's relation up? to your. Uh, you said you just started producing around that time, mm-hmm. and um. While I was listening to your stuff, I was wondering who did most of the production for your, uh, your work, if it was you or if you have producers you often go to, because mm-hmm. it all sounds top notch. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. So uh, on 4 Ant, on 4 Ant, I think the first two songs or the first two songs were produced by, or the first three songs, the first three songs were produced by Be Yourself World, I believe. No, 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 no. I take that back. First two songs were produced by Be Yourself World. Uh, the third song was produced by Morrow. And then the last song on there was produced by me. On Big Brother, those were produced by um, Be Yourself World and Just Aaron. Modus Vivendi, the entire Modus Vivendi project was produced by Chilali. Oh. Uh, the entire. So in everything, inshallah and beyond, mm-hmm. I produced myself. So starting at the Inshallah series, mm. Inshallah 1, 2, 3, and 4, uh, the latest single, Another Way, 
uh, the single internet gangster. I produce all of those myself. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's well, super impressive. Thank you so much for like the insight. Um, again, I would love if we can like have just like a bit of the audio recording um, with what we were, had in the beginning because I feel like there's a couple of things that we definitely missed. Okay. I'm, um, back. I'm sure we could probably do that. Of course. Oh, Maybe I'll a bonus something. section at the we end. We were or getting like, I was about to curse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Don't you do it. Don't oh. you do it. <laughs> Beep. I got it for you. Um, but no, I think there was at one point we were just like getting, what was it? Oh, I don't praise, but we were just like getting like spiritually like just yeah. I think I think so like called it the energy. Energy. I think you kept it at that. The, no, yes. It felt um, good. <laughs> but in any case, we're going to move right now into our set list. Um, feel free to kind of explain in between songs if there's like a story that you want to um, go through, but we're going to head off to the set list. This song right here is called In My Life. The first song on Inshallah 3. I felt all kind of pain. Doctor said PTSD, survivors hall of fame. In my life, I felt all kinds of shame. I did some things that I regret, but time's hand ain't flexible. No turning back, got to accept. Huh. It is what it is, till it is what it will be. Did some things as a kid, people still wanna kill me. Ain't no fake in my bones, I was broke, Jesus healed me. Now I'm up on my toes, praise the Lord, this the real me. Hell, hum do a lot, mama gave birth to a star. Had my head up in the clouds, white bodies laid out on the lawn. R.I.P. Michi and Sean, rest in peace, EJ and Quan. Got family I wish would respond. And I got a brother in jail, I hate when I miss any cars. I know that he missing his daughter, that really breaking my heart. Cause my daughter be calling my name, if I die, if I couldn't respond. If I couldn't hurt her in my arms, if I couldn't throw her to the sky, I'd be shooting at more than the stars. Listen. Big Brother speaks again. And this time, it uh, sounds like he's actually saying uh, something. Listen, uh, I feel like the life. Truth be told, the hate y'all give us never was right. God taught us hate ourselves and our brothers too. To hate our sisters and our fathers and our mothers too. And all the things we do is messing up the youth. Y'all put the blame on us, but it's because of you. And then I look right in the mirror like, what you gonna do? And then I look right up to God like, what you gonna do? Do something. Uh, please, God, you gotta do something. Uh, you paid the cost, but cops killing people over counterfeits. And it's feeling like we can't do nothing. So do something. God, you gotta prove something. Uh, uh, and my life is like a dream that Martin would have loved to see. The gag is the clan still Klu Kluxin. Ching! Yeah, that's in my life right there. I love this beat. I have to tap into my inner yay on this beat. It just. Mm -hmm. We can go to the next one, the next song. It's called Bib. It's also, Bib is actually also on Inshallah 3. Inshallah 3 was probably one of my favorites out of the whole uh, EP series. If we be completely honest, appreciate it. Appreciate it. I am not worried about being the topic. 
I'm more concerned about my family and wallet. I'm more concerned about business and projects. Bunch of vacations, some country to trap it. Family vacations on PJs and islands. Riding in sprinters with my brother's wallet. Splurge on designer, we don't need no stylist. This art of my blind, they can't tell what the time is. This ain't no cap or no cliche. Life is a marathon relay. And most of y'all people can't relate. You say it's all love, why I see hate. One thing I know is I'm gonna be great. One thing's for sure, that's I'm gonna be great. I said it twice, cause I mean what I said. I thought y'all knew that I got what it takes. No time for beef, now I'm raising the stakes. I thank the Lord, yeah, I thank the Lord. Two blocks on my hip, call them mercy and the grace. Think the ops on the bench, cause they never score. Free Fazo and Kyler up out that cage. I miss my brothers, can't take no more. I think about Will and Ann every day. I be wondering what did God take them for? Then I just pray that they don't get me for I blow. Before I blow. Before I blow. Before I blow. Before I blow. Yeah, yeah. I just pray that they don't get me for I blow. Before I blow. Before I blow. either off of my first LP Motors Vivendi. It's probably this is probably one of my personal favorites, if we can be honest. Before we go to the next one, I gotta say you were talking beforehand about how you were nervous performing today. You I you mean can't tell? I, <laughs> I'm nervous as heck. I, I, I can't tell. I, I mean we're we're jamming out here. I appreciate it. I appreciate like, it. We're we're having a great time. You're doing a great job it. so far. Thank you. Y'all can't hear the music. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realized that's why I took it off just a bit. I was like, I hope they yeah, maybe can hear I did a that, little bit. I did the same thing. I was like, dang, I don't even know how they're following along over there. Yeah, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Yeah, so this, <laughs> this next song is called We Don't Care Either off my first uh, LP called Modus for Vendi, also inspired by Ye. Shout out to Jordan with the hat. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. We'd like to dedicate this next number to all of the children in the world. Oh, na, 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 na. Oh, na, 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 na. Yeah. Oh, na, na, na. Yeah, yeah. I said this for all my people that's drug dealing just to get by. And even all my people that's just living a lot. And my people in them prisons that's just sitting with time. And my people that's just grateful that they even alive. Hold up. It's gonna be all right. It's gonna be okay. I know they're talking and it's all good, but we don't care what people say. Young said, I'm sounding like chance in my city, yeah. I took a chance on my city, shoot for the stars because these guns don't jam in my city. You better know where you stand in my city. Skyri said the people saying this and that, they saying that and this. You reaching out your hand for help to get you back to kiss. Just cause I'm peaceful don't mean I'm a pacifist. If they white, we gotta turn that cheek. They black, we yelling past the blip. That's really sick, that's really weak, that's really messed up. I was down bad, was on my back, they yelled out tough love. But now I'm up and on my way, they yelling much love. That's fake love, I remember it was forget us. They got my people out here protesting on hurdles. Life's a marathon, but this road filled with potholes and hurdles. Gotta really hold it together in your mind like a girdle. Police brutality and pandemics, this really unheard of. Uh, all Trump had to do was tweet Black Lives Matter, but he didn't. He tweet everything else, and that's why his blood splattered and glass shattered like a broken heart. How this the land of the free, we've been in change from the start Time to paint the perfect picture, this canvas been blank from the start Yeah, and all my people that's just living alone And my people in them prisons that's just sitting with time And my people that's just grateful that they even alive Hold up, it's gonna be alright 
it's gonna be okay. I know they're talking and it's all good. Cause we don't care what people say. Yeah, that's we don't care either. That's, yeah, that's one of my that's one of my personal favorites. Yeah, I appreciate y'all. Y'all at home watching this, listening. To the rock out, you can do a little dance or something. You know? <laughs> Shout out to Justin for recommending the song. I don't know yeah, if it was on the, the not, list already. It wasn't, but when I seen it, I was like, I got to do it. Shout out to Justin. Yeah, we, could, uh, we could jump to the next one. So just, yeah, that was easily my favorite one off time. Hey, I appreciate that, bro. I appreciate that. Everyone's getting in on this interview today. <laughs> so this next one, um, it's like, for me, it's officially the unofficial anthem uh, for Buffalo. Uh, this song is the song that I really feel like changed the trajectory of my career. This is the song that introduced me officially as an underground rapper um, in Buffalo. And much love again to Hollywood in the room. He, this song was one of the first songs to get a music video, and you know we made it happen, and it it was beautiful. So uh, this for everybody, seven one six and surrounding Buffalo kids. Let's go. Chee. Just Aaron, you a fool for this one. Uh, <laughs> shout out Just Aaron. He said, everybody rock like. Chee! So, listen. So, uh, listen. God is supreme and my people is legendary. Music is in our blood like it's hereditary. If you want to survive, keep it shorter than February. Our winners last forever and the summers are very scary. Eh? I'm talking to the Buffalo kids, and if you from where I'm from, then you know what it is. People die every day, and we know one who did the hit, but ratting ain't tolerated. It's a shortage on witnesses. A lot of young kings get their wings before they get their crowns. A lot of young queens walk the strip before they walk the aisle. All these young brothers yelling gang, but no one put them down. Got grips like leashes of dog acting up, they put them down. I'm talking to the Buffalo kids, and if you from where I'm from, then you probably got dreams, and you got disappointments, cause life's not like what it seems. But we ball till we fall, off the hook like Kareem, sing. That ain't us, that's where we from. Yeah, that ain't us, that's where we from. Yeah, that ain't us, that's where we from. Yeah, we just some Buffalo kids. Uh, that ain't us, that's where we from. Uh, that ain't us, that's where we from. Yeah, that ain't us, that's where we from. Uh, listen, uh. Uh, good hearts, bad tendencies, big Glock and mad frenemies, big backy, mad Hennessy, and I thank God that he's keeping me, through it all I know he's here with me, I done made some choices and decisions that I regret, I done had some nice well many missions that I regret, went from playing tag to running and ducking from cops, from having fun on the blocks to dumping at ops, and people live like they don't want us to stop, it's time for a change, I grabbed the baton, listen, that ain't us, that's where we from. That ain't us, that's where we from uh, We just some Buffalo kids Then I, on this real record, I went on a little tangent at the end I was like, if you from, you from Buffalo, Depew, West Seneca, Lackawanna, Hamburg, Orchard Park, anywhere 716 You know, I just feel like this should be an anthem for anyone that's a dreamer It's a Buffalo kid in London, it's a Buffalo kid in Queens, you feel me? It's a Buffalo kid in, where are you from, bro? <laughs> it's a Buffalo kid there, you know what I mean? Yeah, I'm a Buffalo kid <laughs> He's a Buffalo kid but we could let that one fade out, go to this last song. Probably one of my personal favorites. I gotta hand my headphones off to Meezy here. I can't I can't see him nod his head to no music. <laughs> you got this one the last one, dude. If you wanna just run over to the side, there should be a pair of headphones somewhere on the floor by the computer. So that way poor Jordan There's doesn't have to go here. without. Yeah, there should be some headphones on the floor somewhere over there. <laughs> Well, while they're figuring out the headphones, I got to say, I'm not from Buffalo. I'm from downstate like Mel. I'm from Long Island. I got to say, I felt like I was from Buffalo <laughs> listening man, to that. Good, good. I was, <laughs> no, the ending that was, was funny. Like, I don't know where you're from, Jordan, but you're a Buffalo kid too. <laughs> <laughs> that was fantastic. I appreciate it. Oh, man. All right, can I plug into anyone in here? Yeah, you can plug it into any of them. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Can you hear my voice now, Jordan? I can hear your voice now, that. Alex. Look at that. <laughs> you know, you cheese it hard. He's like, yeah, I hear. 
All righty. Um, are you ready to start with the uh, the next song? Uh, yeah. This uh this next song is called Cool with a K. I believe Cool with a K is also off of the uh Motors with Vindy LP. So Buffalo Kids was on Big Brother, the Big Brother EP. Uh, Cool with a K. Um, is another one of one of the fan favorites, and you know I just wanted to share that with y'all today, so we can get into it. Cheers. Shout out to uh, Chill Ali on the production. Uh, uh. I said, I got dreams of balling like mellow from the nuggets to the Knicks. And I'm trying to make a come up from some nuggets to some bricks. Need some carrots in my jewelry. Silly rabbit ain't no tricks. <laughs> you claim you sucker free, but in my eye, you just a lick. See, your main thing is a gangbang. We slide through when we wanna. She grab her and blow. I'm telling you, she a gunner. Whole squad be diving in like a pool in the summer. You think she being faithful? Trust me, dude, she a fronter. Uh, she fronting and she throw it back, so I call her rewind. But yet I'm still focused all on my green on go like a street light. And I got dreams of balling like Jordan with 23 on. Uh, my broski got the 30 on them, but not three dimes. Me, I got three dimes, and they all tropical. I'm a fly fella, high above my obstacles. I'm on my grind, straight headed to the top. You know, boy, in my way is give me my space or come down like dominoes. It's time to go. And if he a stain, the guys on that wave, man, just call him tired to go. And if you in vain, just stay in your lane, but what is you riding for? You say you ain't changed, but yet you ashamed, so what is you hiding for? My mother in debt and my brother's in pain, so that's what I'm grinding for. But y'all must understand I'm trying to get the hood in the dough. Yeah, this a slight I ain't in yet, but bet that my foot in the dough. And Buffalo, been looking similar to Pakistan But I'm focused all on my green like I was stalking a Packers fan I went to church, but I never ever been an acting man See, I repent, no confessions, never ever been a Catholic man So you can cut all of that slick, slick Me, I'ma stay true, no storytelling, no slick Rick, I'm Tom Summage, I'm Tom So, I'm Tasha Sun and I'm all that I know some people been waiting on me, you're so patiently just like a callback The summer, it cannot be all of ours, but the autumn's mine in the spring too The winter's here, they get really cold, that's on KP and the team too That's loan of life, it's only right, if you ain't know, here's the clue I've been really trying to hold it together, I'm losing it, better go get the glue Part of me is saying, the world, screw them all, get a tool The other part, Tommy, go to church, boy, stay on your ground you gotta get through school cause your mama loves you Your girls adore you and all your family men they need you too Instead of going fake baby crazy just figure out what is you gonna do Huh? So what is you gonna do? You like Martin's man so his plan won't work so Tommy it's all on you So just play it cool Yeah, yeah That's it. You like Martin's man so his plan won't work So Tommy that's all on you Huh? Chee. I appreciate y'all for having me that's all I got that's all I got. That's all I got. Brother Tom Souls everywhere. All of these songs are everywhere. Apple Music, Title, Spotify, YouTube, everywhere except SoundCloud. Tap in, Brother Tom Souls. <laughs> that beat is heavenly. Man, dude. That's wow. a Chill Ali on the production, man. That's wow. Chill Ali awesome. on the production. Yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. This guy, this guy is a student <laughs> of the the hip hop game. We got yeah. what do we get? We got a KRS One shout out. We got a Slick Rick <laughs> shout I'm out. Learning, we got a man. Jay Z shout out. I'm learning. Yeah. Let's go. So we're now going to head on to our second set of questions, um, kind of just to close out things, see what's what's going on. So go ahead. Sure. So your discography, some powerfully truthful uh, <laughs> projects. I love, that's I don't know song. who worded that one. Shout out either Aaron or Sebastian, but yeah, that's, yeah. that's a great way to uh, put it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, so do you feel like you have a particular song or project that defines you the most? Hmm. Song? Dope Street Story. Okay. Oh. Um, project, the Inshallah series at large, one through four. Gotcha. Because mm-hmm. um, fun story real quick, it was supposed to be an album. Really? Oh, it okay. was supposed to be an album. It was supposed to be a 22-song album. Um, but when I was in the studio, I had some of the higher-uppers there, and they said, who do I think I am? Mm-hmm. <laughs> to put out Literally, to put out a 22-song really? um, album. You're not Cole. You're not Drake. You're not Kendrick. We're not there yet. Right. You know, and it's harsh to take. You know, as an artist, like, who are you to tell me I can't put up? Yeah. But, you know, mm-hmm. I put out those songs on one project, 12 of them or more get skipped over. I got so you. So right. I feel like, you know, but most definitely the Inshallah. Yeah, so yeah. you definitely get showcased yeah. a lot better. In, yeah. in market. And it works really well with the yeah. art for each one. Like, oh, they kind of yeah. match up. Appreciate you have it. beautiful album. Yeah. Shout yes. out to Rats. Rats, my boy Rats in Italy. He getting it. Oh, he getting it oh wow. In, in Italy? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah. That's sick. Yeah. 
Super cool. Incredible. Man, Dylan Morosky. What were those cassettes from? Does anyone Scotland. remember? Scotland. Scotland. We're just going all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> we're slowly but getting there. Um, so let's head on to the next question, which is what's new? I mean, I guess this whole uh, episode has just been like a kind of a, I guess like a staircase as like big things are coming for you. And you know Hopefully that. We you. know that. It's more, <laughs> it's it's kind of a given. Um, but let's let's speak on like what's happening in the in the sooner future, I guess you could say. So is there anything that you can't divulge, anything that you can't, and that's okay. But uh, yeah, in the near future, I'm most definitely gonna be hearing a lot more about two twenty eight. Right um, on the sweatshirt yeah, right there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. For sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, got my brothers. I just wanna, you know, give, you know, a, a opportunity to do something more than what's given to us. You know, right. mm-hmm. growing up, especially on like the east side of Buffalo and quote unquote poverty. You feel me? It's just like you, the options are very slim to none. You mm-hmm. know, when you graduate mm-hmm. high school, if you ain't playing sports in college, the sports <laughs> thing's over. And now you got more time to get in trouble. You know, so I just feel like music is it's a, it's going to be a scapegoat. So I just want to give my homies the opportunity to, you know, do what I'm doing. You know, so it's, it's bigger than Brother Tom. So it's everybody are individuals. Uh, 228 is just a collective. Also, top tier, the top tier collective. Right. I'm working on that. So that's okay. going to be beautiful. Wow. Um, that's mm. going to be beautiful. I'm working on dropping some some clothes and whatnot. I mean, yeah. talking did, about did somebody, merch. Did somebody say merchandise? <laughs> it's gonna be, yeah, it's, it's it's coming. It's on the way, and a lot of a lot of performances and shows can't spill it all because details are still getting uh, ironed out. But a lot of shows coming up this year. This nice. year, I could count, Ooh, I could count okay. at least five already. Wow! Alrighty. So y'all gonna be taking uh, road trips to Buffalo? Oh, absolutely, oh, yeah. for sure. And I, I oh, hope so. at the at those shows. Uh, I don't know. Well, yeah, <laughs> I, I mean, have y'all drive to, have... to Buffalo. I'll buy y'all tickets. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> no excuses. We're broke college yeah. students. Uh, I, I yeah. have, uh, and I'll order a pizza. Oh, oh my. Oh, a buffalo that's, pizza. That's too much. That's too much. <laughs> oh, no. The tickets are no. Yeah. Yeah. I, um, I, have, I have two jobs on this show. i taking care of all this technical stuff, which is... Shout out know, to you, man. Whatever. Thank but, you, Alex. Thank you. He's thank not you. the plumber. Not the... <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Someone mentioned that is, it. That is some yeah. more. Oh my god. Um, let's just before you uh, head on to your merch question, let's just say that um <laughs> Alex is part of another show on here in which they talk about like I could say it, can I? Go ahead. They, okay, it's basically this is a show that's going off after, after this. It goes from ten to twelve. They kind of just talk about um love and sex. And so it's called um, Lover Call. It's called Lover Call. They kind of just one of our legacy they shows. have like um is it code names? What is it? Yeah, we all, we all have code names. Um, is yours the is, you're the yeah. plumber? Mine's <laughs> the plumber. And so, so you're not the plumber here. <laughs> no, man. <laughs> no, but let's just say they that like including that in the script. <laughs> it's been in every single strip. S- I was kind of hurt that he skipped over it twice. <laughs> I was kind of waiting. Like I'm like, okay. No, no one has I've mentioned a, it, but I've, so I've been funny. avoiding it because they they keep trying to <laughs> trying to say it during during the show, and I'm like, nope, don't you dare, don't you dare. <laughs> Thank but you. I apologize. It was Thank bound you. to happen. Yeah. But continue. <laughs> well, besides my job as, you know, making sure all this stuff works, I am what Jordan has so called, so dubbed me the monarch of merchandise. And I am on the hunt for all things merchandise uh, from the artists that come by here. And I, I did notice, like, on your album or your EP covers, I, I really like this effect. It looks like, you know, like a vinyl LP cover with, like, mm-hmm. the, the indentation there. Mm-hmm. And, I mean, I love collecting vinyl. I, I, one of my favorite, you know, activities going through like, you know, the dollar bin at a record store, you know, picking up like, you know, hip hop singles and stuff like that. Do you have any plans for any, any vinyl in the future? And you said you also have uh, plans for a clothing line, perhaps? Absolutely. Yeah. So the vinyls and stuff are, they're most definitely coming because I realized that, you know, it's art. It's Mm -hmm. art. And that's why I went the route I went with the cover art. Because I didn't know when it was going to happen, mm-hmm. but I knew it was going to be sought after. Like, even if it's five, ten years from now, you know, people are going to go back and be like, no, we need that. So the vinyls are most definitely coming. Yes. Um, merch will be coming for Brother Tom Sos, but outside of merch, I'm actually, uh, I've started a clothing line. So, like, an official clothing line. So that's going to be coming soon. Guap, not money. Wow. Um, that's what that is called. So. Yeah, it's most definitely a lot on the way, but I will most definitely make the vinyls um, top priority. You oh, know? Well, yeah. you already have one customer. Hey, appreciate him. Here. <laughs> Two coming. customers. Hey, can I get a third? Can customers. I get a third? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sure we have yeah. two more people back there, so four or five. You know, it's okay. We're, we're, we'll are we're be right there when you drop some. We somebody. like collecting all the little trinkets that come our way through <laughs> the show. <laughs> um, well, thank you so much. Oh, thank you for um, having so me. So, uh, V and... 
Mizi, right? Yeah. And could I get your name again? Kaliwan. Kaliwan. Just Kaliwan to come on camera. Yeah, we need an appearance from you. Please, we need an appearance from you. Come right up. Just 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 on the camera. Please. Please. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Thank you, Kaliwan. Yeah, but it was such a pleasure having you guys on. And I knew from the beginning, listen, I mean, there's a reason why we're upset that like the little 10 minute in the beginning cut off because that was heavenly um we'll, but we'll w- find a way to post it again. somehow well, we, we'll it might be an way. audio special yeah mm-hmm. for sure but again thank you guys so much for coming on um i think speaking on more of a broader term for the local lowdown as i mentioned before it's been running for more than 10 years mm-hmm. this year in particular being its t- 10th year anniversary mm-hmm. but just helping us uh with one of our main goals that we have on this show which is just broadening not only uh I guess to show in general, but like genre wise. Um, and that's something that honestly, sometimes, especially in this scene here in particular, is sometimes hard to find. And huge, you're, huge punk scene. Huge yeah. punk huge scene. Punk and punk. we cannot thank you enough. One, because we just enjoy your music in general. Thank you so much. Um, but it really does mean a lot uh, for, I guess, the show in particular. It's almost like a pivotal point. But yeah. Thank you so Whenever much. Whenever somebody drives down to us, it means a lot. And, yeah. And just someone that like, I'm not going to say like stoops down to the level below them, but like just reaching back to help yeah, of course. people yeah. is what it's, about. it's what it's all about. <laughs> and it, about. it means so much to yeah. us here. We're just some college students. Yeah, yeah we're just, <laughs> we're, just some college students. we're all dreamers. I support all dreamers. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course. I tell people, I don't care if you want to be a professional booger eater. You have my support. <laughs> I'm going to support you. I, I'm not going to oh, give you my man. boogers because that's gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love how we're shit. ending on this note. <laughs> this is perfect. Oh, man. Um, well, I'm Such a beautiful that. conversation <laughs> to end with boogers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this gonna... interview has been just a roller coaster the entire yeah, time. You man. never know which direction I'm, you're I'm gonna going. I'm going to cry about the first 10 minutes all week. So. Uh, me, too. Oh, well, me too. Just me the, too. The rest man. of the year, you know. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Um, but thank you so much no again. Problem. And thank you that concludes another episode of The Local Lowdown. And thank you so much for coming on the show once me. again. And it's a pleasure having you guys. And we're so excited to see what you guys uh, well, you have in the future, and you guys as well. Um, Soon and come. N- what's up? Soon come. It's Soon come. come. It's coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, next week on the local lowdown, we're going to be having Saint Blind on the show. Uh, it's going to be super interesting and super exciting. Um, but yeah, All take right. us to the outro, Jordan. Thanks for tuning in to the local lowdown on eighty-eight point nine WCVF The Voice and eighty-nine point five WDVL The Inferno. It's been another fantastic episode here, and we'll be back next week with some more amazing local music. Same, same time, time, same, same place. place. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 I kneel and thank my maker. That's my manifesto. And lately, I've been getting to the point just like a Desmo. I'm focused. Too many niggas got caught up. I get teary out and choked up when certain memories get brought up. It's some crazy that I done thought up. Like how if my brother was still alive, I would have never had my daughter. That's real shit. I was in the Bronx getting my boogie on And now I'm in the town looking like Mella with my hoodie on 228 looking like Essie Gang in 05 Slept on me more than they did Bitcoin in 09 I ain't tripping cause that's like scissor, yeah it's so fine And one thing about the sun just know it's gonna shine Life's a b- Avril Lavigne complicated And I repent for every second of time I wasted